Good morning, second grade parents. I just wanted to say welcome. Um, I am really thrilled to be your child's second grade teacher this year. Uh, and I know that this year will have its own challenges in terms of COVID-19, but I promise to work to my best of my ability to keep your child safe and happy and healthy and to really focus on so their social emotional needs as well as their academic needs. And I really feel positive about this year and I think it's going to be a great success. So um, I just wanted to take you on a brief tour of our um, website, which you've clearly found. Um, I wanted to show you this top bar first. Uh, so if you click on Google Classroom, the district will actually be assigning our Google Classroom to um, each student. Uh, and it will look something like this. Uh, there will be a stream, if you're unfamiliar with Google Classroom, there will be a stream where I'll communicate with you down here. Uh, actually, not with you, with your students. This is meant for your children. Uh, classwork will be listed here for the children to complete. And then um, the only other thing you have to be concerned about is people, which the district has informed us that they are going to be assigning students to their Google Classroom. So uh, you don't have to worry about signing up or anything like that. Grades, we probably won't use this section. We'll use report cards and I'll communicate with you in a different way. So you don't have to worry about that tab. But anyways, mainly you're gonna look at classwork. The children are gonna look at classwork and the stream each day to see their assignments. Uh, coming back here, I also created a Bitmoji classroom. Uh, the purpose of this is, oh, it's powering up. Um, just to have a place where children can go every day at school or at home and you know it will be bookmarked and these are safe things for them to be on uh, part of our academics so everything is clickable on here so you can explore at your leisure with your kids later but basically if you click on here obviously you go to Google Classroom uh, you know if you click here for example or, or excuse me if you click here you will go to our math program here. You'll go to our reading program uh, here. If your kid is fidgeting and they need a little bit of movement, they can go here. We'll use that in the classroom. Just all sorts of things for them to use. Here, if you click on the books, it'll take you to a bunch of read alouds that I found. They can click on each one and be able to listen to those read alouds. So, um, it really is a handy tool. They can go back to the home like this. This is not for you to worry about. I will teach your children how to use this, but it's going to be a great place where they don't have to type in the web address. They can just click on it and go. There's gym and music and art things down here. Uh, fun websites, National Geographic. National Geographic. Um, if they forget their password, they can click here. And this is really handy for parents. Um, I just have Amari's here and I really don't have the passwords yet, but I'll be updating this as we go. Uh, but basically, if your child is logged in, they'll be only able to get into their own passwords. So you don't have to worry about them sharing passwords. But if they click on it, um, anything that they forget, how to get the Chromebook, how to use Prodigy, Extra Math, whatever websites we're using, um, which this will be updated, they can find their login. Um, and also, if they go here, they can get to fun math games. There's a picture of my family. Um, so it's just a, a way for them uh, to get to all of our logins. It's kind of like a bookmark, basically, um, our Bitmoji classroom. So more on that. Um, and I may even end up putting assignments here Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It's still a work in progress, but um, that's something that your kids will use every day. Uh, passwords I also put here so that they're quick to get to okay and they'll all be on there and then this last is contact me um, and these are the three ways school messenger is going to be the medium that the district is going to use you can view classroom school and district level messages they'll all come to you from one app you can also text me through this app uh, I've always been very quick about getting back to text um, this year with teaching um, remote as well as in class at the same time. 
Uh, I may not be able to get to you until my lunch period before school, my lunch period or my special period, but I promise to get right back to you as soon as possible. That's probably the quickest way to get a hold of me. Also email if you have something longer that you want to tell me about or you want to email, that's fine. And call me. Uh, this is the office number. So if I'm in the middle of the teaching, they'll take a message and they'll give it to me and I'll get to it um, during my planning. So that's that. I'm very good about keeping in touch. So, and I welcome anything from you that you want to share. If you scroll down here, uh, I have my welcome letter, which you can view at your leisure, uh, just to get to know me a little bit. Um, I also have my supply list here. Um, there's basically just a few items that we're looking for. Headphones, you might want a couple pairs because they tend to wear out. But other than that, it's pretty simple. Parent questionnaire, I'd love to get to know you a little better. Um, and if you could fill this out, I would appreciate it. Um, and just send it back to me at some point. This is something your kids and you could look at. It's just a little information about me and some tidbits about who I am, okay? And then the last one is a student project that I would love for students to do sometime between now and September 14th, if possible, the first day of school. So if you click on this, it'll say make a copy, and you just click make a copy. And it's really simple. It's just one page. I would love for you to fill in um, with them their name, what their favorite book is, and so forth. It has text boxes already in there. So if you just click, you just fill in at the text boxes, okay? When you are done, you're going to click share. And you can share with me, okay? My, if you just type in K Porter, if you're logged in, it should come up, but if it doesn't, it's K Porter at liverpool.k12.com newyork.ny.us and then you just click that and you're going to send it to me and I will print it. Um, if you, um, we're trying to kind of um, cut down on the amount of paperwork that's coming back and forth due to COVID-19. So that's why we're having people fill this out online and then we'll do the artsy part of having them color it at school. I'll print it. So um, if you have, I, I'm learning as I go, so if you have any trouble with this, feel free to reach out to me at any time, okay? Um, other than that, that's basically it. I'm gonna get more into our program and all of that at our Meet the Teacher night, but I just wanted to give you a brief you know, overview of this. It has some helpful tools that will help you throughout the year. So again, I look forward to meeting you very shortly. And we should have a great year, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your summer, what's left of it, and we'll see you soon. Thank you so much.